In this video, I am going to show you how to install and use Flowwise AI. Flowwise is a tool in AI which you can use to build any large language model without any code and by simply doing a drag and drop. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in video description so that you can also follow along. For this video, I am using an EC2 instance because I'm self-hosting this Flowwise AI and this EC2 EC2 instance has operating system Amazon Linux 2 and I'm running instance type C5 X large. Okay, let's get started. I already have created this EC2 instance and I'm already logged in there. The first step we need to do is to make sure that all the prerequisites are installed. So the first thing is to update the operating system if it's not there. So I'm just using sudo yum update as I have just created this EC2 instance with amazon provided machine image so everything is updated next thing we need to do is to install docker press yes here and it will install the docker shouldn't take too long next step we will be doing is that we will be including the docker um, as a docker's group for the ec2 instance so that we won't have to type sudo again and again so that's done here in the next step i'm going to install docker compose for that i need pip so first let's install pip which is already there next i'm going to install this docker compose again doesn't take too long so let's wait for it to finish Okay, that's done. Great. Let me clear that screen to make it more visible. Now I am just enabling the Docker service, which creates a symbolic link. Then let's start the Docker service. That is also done. Another prerequisite which I need to install is git. So this is a simple command to install git through yum. Okay. Up till this point, all the prerequisites are done. Another step which we need to do is to now clone this flowwise GitHub repo. If you scroll up on this repo, you will see a green button. Click on it and copy this URL because this is a URL of this repo. Go back to your terminal and here simply run this command git clone repo and that should clone the repo in your local system. Once that's done, let's cd or change directory to this flow file and then to the docker directory. We are there which is great. Also make sure by running pwd your present working directory where you are. Okay, that is cool. Next step is to create an environment file. First, let's create clear the screen and touch.env. Then I'm using vi editor. You can use nano or any other editor to edit this file. A small i. Then paste this. This is just a configuration where this application will be running. We'll be using port 3000. Okay colon wq and the file is saved now next step is to install another prerequisite which is url lib3 so pip3 install this it's a very quick utility and the last step in order to run this application is to run docker compose i'm running it and this takes around three to five minutes because it downloads some of the layers so the last one is bit hi and so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long docker compose is done so this is all the installation is now let's see if our application is running or not in order to see the application run what you need to do is to open your browser then type your public ip or internal ip or url whatever you are using of this server the linux instance and then colon and port 3000 i already ran it in my browser and it is running as you can see on my screen that i am on this brand new installation of flow wise ai now in order to run it you need to create a chat flow so on the top right click on add new and this should open a workspace and the way you create this chat flow is you click on pl this plus button and then you will be presented with a lot of things like agent chains, chat models, prompts, even tools, pre-built LLM, and a lot of other things. And you can explore it on your own. So for instance, let me search for something like OpenAI chat. 
then click on chat open ai and drag it to the work area and then you can simply adjust it here here you can give your own credentials like your open ai api key your model name you can select any of it and then you can set the randomness with this temperature so let me maybe create a new uh, credential because it's a brand new installation so click on create new and here you need to give your open ai api key let me see if i have it uh, handy let me try it the old my old key just give the key here uh, sorry uh, key will go here on the second text box just call it test key click on add credential is set I, I will just go with 3.5 turbo i will leave this temperature as is now again click on plus button maybe this time i am going to use an mr uh, kl agent which is just a react framework so let's put it here now another cool thing to join this flow is that click on on the chat open a click on this uh, dot gray dot and then drag it to this language model because we are connecting this language model to this box also let's all uh, there is another one for tools let's also see if we have any tool cancel it or maybe let's go to tool scroll down a bit maybe let's select the calculator put it here then set here and then maybe i will just drag it here put the calculator here and join this calculator from here to the tools now once let's suppose our uh, workflow is done on the top right there will be a save button you can save it let's call it my test flow click on save and again so this, this is all done now again in the right hand there's a chat purple chat icon click on it and that should open this chat box you can uh, ask it anything um, so this is just a dummy one so let me ask a dummy question what is uh, day to day because my key is old so it might not return me the answer yes so you can see it has gone to the G chat gpt model to open his website but as i'm using old key so it hasn't written me any answer but if you have a valid key and if you put it in it will give you the correct answer so you can build your own chatbot with this model very easily similarly you can use any other model of your choice and you can even build your own llm by using all of these menus and you can uh, select any chat prompt few short prompt single shot and whatever you want and you can even create your own template schema for it so there are a lot of things i would highly encourage you to explore it if you are into it again let me save it and then if you go back from here you can see that my chat flow is here and you can create as many chat flows with uh, a lot of models if you don't want to create your own click on marketplace in the left hand side menu and you can select a lot of things here for example i want to go with let's say csv again click on it and then it has a pre-built everything here and um, all you need to do is to give your credentials here i don't have it um, so once you click let, let me try my old one and then it's the same thing and if you see if you click on upload file it should open an, something in the new window so uh, and then again you can chat with it on the clicking the chat item and then so on and so forth let me discard it and there are a lot of other things in the marketplace and you can build your own and put it in here also as i mentioned earlier there are a lot of tools which you can pre-built use or you can uh, create your own also these are the credentials which i just created and you can set your own api keys and then share it with your team so that if you want to enable authentication because this is just a dummy test system which is open to the public so this is it guys uh, all the commands which i have used i will put them in videos description so that you can follow along um, and then if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much